Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Right. Today our Pilates is using weights. We're going to start on our feet for um, a good kind of five, maybe even to ten minutes. So I've just angled my computer slightly higher for now. And I want you to grab or keep nearby some little weights. So I've got my 2.5s. They're all running away at the moment, my weights. And I want you to stand on the long edge of your mat. Feet underneath your hips, take a shoulder roll, inhaling up, exhaling down. Do that again. Turn your palms out. Wide circle all the way up towards the sky, reaching through the fingertips, bring your arms down in front of you. Then squeezing back, turning the palms forward, raising up, and bringing the arms down in front. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Stop down by your thighs, soften the knees, tuck the tailbone, squeeze your abs, make sure you're starting to activate your core. Inhale, arms up forward. Exhale, squeeze back, circle them back around. Inhaling. Exhale. One more. going to take my heels together, turning my toes out, like a Charlie Chaplin stance. You can do the same type of arm movement, but this time I want you to reach up, lift up onto your toes, and then as you bring your arms forward, lower your heels. So squeeze up, balance, drop it down. Two more. lift and then let's take it the other direction so we lift up forward squeeze back through the shoulder blades take them down by our sides for one squeeze for two three one more and four good take your legs wide turn your left foot out reach gently out to a lateral lunge back to the center so i lunge into this leg but i try and keep my chest and hips facing forward so just start to deepen that lunge and start to bring the legs up take a wider start if you need to you'll feel a nice little stretch down the inner thigh of the opposite leg and then reach the hand down to the ankle push it up to the sky down to the ankle up to the sky Five, nice deep bend in that leg. Six, just getting a slight rotation now through the spine, turning the chest towards the foot, reaching out to the sky. Last two, nine and ten. Good, back to center. Turn your foot the opposite way, swap the feet over, and just start with a little lateral lunge to the side. So, again, just being wary, so we're trying to face forward, opening that knee as we sink down. Okay, let's add that reach. And we drop down and up for one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, reach. Nine, one more. And ten, good. Turn the feet parallel. Take a little roll down to your spine. Let your arms drop to the floor. Take the feet a little bit wider. Bend the knees. And then extend the legs. Reach your head and chest down. Stretch out the feet. Inhale, lift. Exhale, sink. Inhale, lift. Sink. Exhale, sink. Two more. Last one. Good. Bring your hands on top of your shoulders. Drop your feet together. Roll it up. Take a shoulder roll. Grab your weights. So I'm doing 2.5. You might do it a bit lower. And then I want you to stand on your mat. So I'm just standing sideways. So I've got that length of my mat to use as a grip for my feet. 
Okay, we're going to take it to a lunge position. Now we're going to work into the arms. Bring your arms to here. So we're going to alternate your arms. We're going to inhale, exhale, power up one arm, put it back down. Same side. So I'm doing bending my left knee and extending my right arm. I lunge it straight down, taking the weight into my front heel. I'm not leaning into that lunge. I'm simply dropping down, bending both knees together. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Not bad. Stay on this leg. Drop your left arm, so my back arm, to an isometric bicep curl. And then you're going to curl, same leg, do a bicep curl, so you can have a curl, you can twist it into your shoulder. The important thing here is that that upper arm is isolated, so just working that lower arm up the shoulder. We're going to do a few more because it's a lightweight. Well, Hold this one, both isometrically holding. Up through those legs. Three. Start to feel that in your front buttock. Seven, eight, nine. Pause your lunge. Pulse the arms. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come out of that lunge. We are not done yet. Woo, this is a little bit of a challenge, this one. Bring your arms forward, palms turning up. Uh, sorry, palms turning in. We're gonna drop down, lift that arm, straight back in front. We'll do 10 of these. Four. Five. Six, at any point this gets too much, you can just hold your lunge at the top. Eight. Nine, give me one more, and ten, drop the weights. We have one last upper body exercise to do in the same leg, and my calf is pulling that at the back. Arms up, bend the elbows behind, squeeze the belly, squeeze your butt, tummy on tight. Exhale down and up. So as I extend my arms, I drop them to my lunge. Four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and let's do that little extra bit at the end. Ten, hold it in that isolated line and press the arms. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, belly's on. Four, sink down into that lunge. Two, and one, step it out, shake those legs. Woo! Quite calf at the back, I felt that. Find your breath. Okay, we're going to come back to that in a minute. Take your legs wide on that, that mat again. Turn your left foot out so the rest of you make that ball out with. We're going to reach down to the foot, straight up to the sky, that angle. So we bend the elbow in, then we reach down, shoot the arm back out, and reach that wide. Of course, you can do this without a weight. All of it can be done without a weight. Reach and shoot. Bending that side leg, knee pointing to that middle toe, opposite leg stays extended. Three more. Eight, nine, and ten. Drop weight down, turn your feet other way. Let's go down and reach two three squeeze that belly four i'm 
can't get low. Right high. Last one. And back to centre. Turn the feet parallel. Roll down with those weights. Let the weights hit the ground. Soft and good knees, sink the hips. And they extend those legs. Sink your head and chest down. Lift your bottom high. Take your weight into your toes. And let your chest just drop. Now, soft the knees. Roll up with those weights. And then pivot around and turn your legs the other way. So we start in that lunge. So now my back leg is my right leg. Roll those shoulders. Set yourself up. Parallel position with your feet. Hips square. Arms here. That front knee stays above the ankle. We drop. Extending that with the arm. So remember opposite arm to leg. Good, no balance here. I read that, how many balance to leg? Good. Drop the weights down. My back arm is now isometrically bicep turning. And I'm going to go back into the center. So, again, hammer curl if you want, or you can rotate with a spin to the shoulder. We're doing 15 of these. Might find that extra, extra in those shoulders. Five, four, three, two, and one. Hold those bicep curls to the isometric position. Take them down to the legs. Nine. Squeeze your butt. Pull those shoulders back. Three, two, hold. Pump the arms. Three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Lift up your lunge. Oh, oh, my foot is not liking the mat of texture of the mat. Okay, back into those shoulders. Arms forward. Whoop. I have no balance on the side. Let's go. Drop and back. Drop and back. Three. Four, five, six, seven, woo, my arm, eight, nine, last one, and ten. Drop it down, straight into those triceps. You ready? Let's get this done. Arms up, bend behind. We drop down, extending the arm. One, two, three. Get those elbows close to your head. This is where you really want to squeeze your butt. Just take no pressure in that back. Six, seven, eight, nine. Hold, arms back, let's go. 10, nine, sink it. Seven, six, five, four, three, nearly there. And step it out, shake it out. Woo, weights down. Actually, no weights aren't down. We're going to do one more here. So come to the long part of the mat. Turn your feet out, feet wide. Okay, we're going to do plie squats. So my feet are turned out wide, leg wide stance. Arm circles, we're going to rotate the arms different directions. So we drop down into our legs, opening our arms up, bring our arms all the way back down, turn the palms in. So we palms in, open to the sky, drop, rotate back in. Always feel free. 
two. Drop the weight if it's too much. Three more. Get them nice and deep. Open those knees. Work those inner thighs. Last two. Last one. Okay, I'm gonna go down one more time. You ready? Arms up high. Hold them up. Turn your palms out. Pulse the pulse the floor. Three, four. Shoulders relax. Six. Open those knees. Drop the hips. Nine, ten. Now put your weights down. I'm just going to slightly adjust my screen. So that there's a little bit more floor to see. A little bit more than that, I think. So stand to the narrow end of your mats. Noisy parrots in the background. Take a shoulder roll, soften the knees. Let's do a roll down. Do the floor, soften the knees. Take a little walk out. Now we're going to work into the chest and triceps. So just pause in the plank, try to plank. So pause in the plank, just drifting the shoulders, just very lightly over the wrist, squeezing the back. Lengthening out through the legs, cleaning up through every part of your abdomen. Hold it 10 more seconds. Really breathe into the nose, out through the mouth. And then gently drop your knees down, sit back into child pose, or into a little cat stretch here. So we're going to do a combo of triceps and chest push ups. So what I want you to do is have one hand underneath your shoulder and the other hand wide on the mat. The knees stay where they are. So you're not drifting over, you're staying central. And you're gonna bend, my back elbow is gonna bend in towards my rib cage. The front elbow, my right arm, is gonna bend out to the side. Then we power it up for one. Two, for three seconds, a bit further forward. So you're gonna come into our half plank. Hear what I'm saying? Four. Stay central. Five. Try and keep that weight equal in both arms. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. One more. Ten. Bring that hand in. Cut your toes under, lift yourself up into a plank. Okay, take your feet wide, take your hands wide. We're gonna lift back leg, front arm, down, other side. Find your balance, don't rush it. And if you're really struggling with balance, do the arm or the leg on their own. Six, seven, a bit slow, eight, nine, if you need to drop your knees, please do so, there's no rush, remember, ten, knees down, get it back, so if you're still trying to reach your ten, just pause and take your time, Let the elbows relax. Okay, lift yourself up. Just take a little curve of the spine. Take a little dip of the spine, lifting your eye gaze open to the skin. Let's do the triceps and the chest on the other side. So my right hand is under my shoulder. My knees are about hip shoulder width apart. My left hand is wide of my mouth. 
And as soon as I do that, I want you to drift that direction. So just make sure you stay central. And we drop down. Power up. Take it as far forward as you wish. Don't let your bottoms fall lower than your shoulders. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Power at nine, one more. And ten, good. Immediately turn over onto your side. Look, I'll get a sweat and get in the towel. Right. So, flat down on the ground, legs in a straight line. We're going to do some leg lifts. We're actually going to do them in a rotated hip position today. So you can keep your foot and knee slightly soft, use a little bit more balance. Your hand in front of the chest. I'm going to turn my toes up. Now, by doing that, that gives me a lot of freedom in my hip to lift my leg all the way to the sky and then dropping it all the way back down. So this is usually against my, my own personal Pilates policies. We're just doing a leg lift, we've got external rotation, allow that hip to open. Squeeze the belly. Up to six. A nice exercise. Seven. Eric, work on that hamstring stretch. Two more. And 10. Now drop the leg down, immediately turn the toe. So now my big toe has brushed my other big toe at the bottom. Okay, so in the uh, medial rotation this time, abdominal up. But immediately you don't get that range. It's almost reduced by half. And then the muscles fit it somewhere completely different. So this is now my outer buttock, outer thigh. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Turn the foot parallel. So this time we're just pushing through the length of the leg and then sneaking up and dropping down. So your leg will start to creep into its own kind of natural place if you don't keep that focus on parallel foot. Just keep an eye on it. Make sure it's not turning itself up so you're happy up there again. Keeping it nice and straight. If it's too much at any point, just bend your knees and work on the hip here. Hold up, keep that leg dead straight. And let's pass. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Bend the knee. So if your knees aren't already bent, bend the knee. Pull it in, kick it away. Pull it in, kick it away. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hold, turn the toes down, pulse it. Six, five, four, three, two, one, turn the toes up to the sky, lift it up, hold it here. 10, nine, squeeze, seven, six, five, come on, work it up. Three, two, and one, turn the foot parallel, lower it down to the ground, take a bend, wedge it in front of that thigh, and then just open the knee. Oh, that's a bit nasty. Get in, free the leg, take a little pressure and weight off the joint, just hold the leg there in position. Bend that underneath knee a little bit more, hook hold of the big toe, let's stretch it to the sky. So 
If you can't fully extend your legs looking the toe, grab around the back of the calf and just use that stretch there. So you're pushing your knee dead straight against the resistance of your hand. So you're holding on tight. Open the leg, pull the hip forward, pull the toes down towards you. And then gently release. Come up onto your hand. So, we're going to do a little bit of a side plank. And we're going to take it into a rotator. So, I want you to keep a weight nearby if you decide to use it. And your knees are bent to start with. But all I want you to do is lift up, open up, reach, and drop down. So, you don't want to have your feet that. Just take one foot behind the other. Lifting up, reaching, and dropping down. Even better, place the sole of your foot here. Rest your arm here. And then as you lift up, you extend and push away. And then drop back down. So six is going to do it. Four. Five. <clears throat> Seven, eight, nine, one more, and ten. Just pause there. Raise the arm up towards the sky. Lift the hips, hold it, squeeze it, open the chest. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good, just free the arm, put your legs into perfect position. So I kind of automatically land in it. Take that foot further forward, keep that leg bent, and just lean into that leg. Good, bring yourself down onto the elbow. Take hold of your weight. So, Again, you can take that split stance in the legs. Keep the arm up. Let's go. Rotate and reach. Rotate and reach. Three, four, five. You can drop that knee at the bottom if you wish. Take it a little bit lower. Seven, eight. Nine, last one, and ten. Drop the weight down. Flip straight over to the other side because when we come to our back, we're going to stay on our backs doing the abs. So set yourself up, right flat down to the ground, straight line. Underneath leg can be stacked, slightly bent. This leg starts to hover, hip square, engage those abs. Foot turns up, remember? So we lift the leg up and down. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, drop the leg down, turn the toe, so medial rotation in that hip, squeezing the ab, and lift the leg up, and down. Squeeze through here. Pressing, big toe down to the other big toe. Seven, eight, nine, and 10, parallel that foot, let's go, lift up and down. So a tiny bit more range for parallel, make that foot parallel, push through the heel, extend that leg. Obviously you can take it to a bent knee, just abducting if you need to reduce the range. Eight, nine, and 10. Now bend the knee in, let's kick away and pull in. Lovely bit of mobility movement through the hip. Then at the hip drop, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
Hold it, let's go. 10, 9, 8. Get it high as you can. Squeeze. That's where the hard work comes in. Gain that height, but not changing the hip direction. 3, 2, 1. Turn the toes down. Let's go. Reach. Immediate rotation. Squeeze it. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 4. Turn those toes up. Rotate the hip. Let's go. Lift it up. Hold it at the top. 10, 9. Stretch. Kick through that heel. Extend the leg. Five, four, three, two, and one. Drop it just in front of that side. Open the knee out. It's a bit of a nasty stretch off working those muscles. Pull the knee in, take the pressure off the joint. Nice little hip opener as well, same time. And then set yourself up into your hands, bend the knees. So let's do this one because I like this one. So we lift. You've got to get a grip on the feet to lift, lengthen, and pull. And that back knee stays slightly soft. So stretch, also a little shoulder, core, oblique exercise. Five more. Be wary that you don't let your feet slip away or your hands slip away. Get that height. Three, two, last one. And one, just pause as you reach up high and then lower it. Bend the knees. Get that foot forward, come forward just to stretch out a little bit into the buttock. And then from there, we're going to drop ourselves down onto the elbow. Grab your weights, split stance if you wish. You lift up and hold that weight up high. Let's go and rotate. And lift for one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Lovely. Drop it down. Line your back, hug your knees in. I'm going to grab both my weights here. Everyone as well. Lie yourself down. Relax. Oh. Okay, skull crosses. I'm going to use my four kilos in the past as well. My two triceps. Do my weight to the knee kick. Arms out of the shoulders. Legs. Up high. I'm going to turn my toes out and just activate my inner thighs by pushing my heels together with my knees slightly soft. And that's where I'm going to stay for now. We bend the arms behind, we kick the arms back up. So go very careful, you don't hit your head, okay? That's why they're called skull crushes. You can crush the skull, and we don't want to do that. Feet slightly wide, elbows pointing up towards the sky, strong stability in that upper arm. Just bending those lower arms. Eight. Nine. And ten. So I'm going to carry on moving my legs one at a time. So I drop one leg, keeping that rotation, pull it back in, and the other side. Four, five, six, seven, eight, last two, nine, ten. 
Now, release the elbows down to the floor. Release the feet. Roll your hips up if you wish. Slide your elbows out to the side. Okay. And we're going to do alternate leg and arm lifts. So your arm is going to do a chest press. The opposite leg is going to do a knee lift. So we push up, we drop down. We press up, we drop down. We can extend the leg to the Bend to the floor. Bend to the floor. Eight, six, five, four, three, two, and four. Lift the hips up, press the arms up, and do ten fast in those arms. Nine, squeeze the butt. Seven, six, five. Four, three, two, and one. Drop down, open wide, roll it out. Take the knees in, take a quick rotation on the side, stretch. And then to the other. Drop the shoulders. And then lift the legs back to centre, pause, tabletop, bring the arms up, palms facing in. Opposite arm to leg. We work out, we pull in. Out, pull in. One more. Take it. Long leg, opposite arm to leg. So the whole idea here is not letting the hip roll following the opposite leg. You've got to keep those buttons firmly on the ground using the tummy muscles and really balance it out with the arms. If you want to go really exotic, together. Come on, power it. We're nearly finished. Let's do this. Six more. Doesn't matter which one you're doing, doesn't matter if you've dropped your weights, just keep moving the body, push your legs away a little bit more. Open wide. One more. Good, lift up, press up. Eight, nine, pause, drop your left leg down. Carry on, one, two, Flex your feet, four, five, six, seven. Come on, reach, eight, drop your weights if you need to, nine, 10, pause, lift the leg up, switch to the other side, last 10, 10, nine, eight, seven, reach, five, four, three, two, and release. Woo, drop those weights down by your side, free them. Hug your knees in. Roll it up, flip around into your hands and knees. Just lift the eye gaze, lift your bottom up to the sky, dipping it the other way. And then arch it to the sky. Up in the toes under, lift it to the downward facing dog. Stretch into the backs of the legs, push your heels to the ground, lift your hips, lift your arms, and breathe. Look forward, step your left leg, step your right leg, catch your big toes, or bend your knees until you can grip them, and just straight out through those legs and dip your head down. Good. Good. And then interlace your fingers, keep your knees soft, stretch your arms, press the arm up and over, reaching away.
and then carefully release your hands down by your side. Roll it up or walk up your legs. Hold your to the top of your knees. Very gently coming up. Take your little shoulder roll at the top. Standing tall, turning those arms out and then inhaling the arms up to the sky. Dropping them forward, squeeze them back, reach them forward, lift them up high to the sky. Open them out wide. Bring your hands together, give yourself a bow. Always give yourself a clap. Thank you everybody. Have a wonderful week. Bye for now.